If you're always experiencing the disappointment of your candles losing their fragrance over time, leading to a diminished aromatic impact, the first reason why is proper fragrance oil ratio. Using too little fragrance oil can lead to a weaker scent that fades quickly. So you want to follow the recommended fragrance oil uh, ratios for your specific wax type. Experiment with slightly higher concentrations for a more potent and longer lasting aroma. Reason number two, stirring and mixing thoroughly. Inadequate mixing can result in uneven distribution of fragrance, and that can cause parts of your candle to lose the scent faster. So make sure that you're stirring the fragrance oil into the melted wax thoroughly and consistently to ensure that an even distribution of the scent throughout the entire candle. Number three is choosing a high quality fragrance oil. Now, don't get scammed out here <laughs> because you went on Timu and found fragrance oil for your candle for five cents, a dollar. However, buying low quality uh, fragrance oils can hurt your, your candles. Spend that money on some very high quality concentrated fragrance oils because let me tell you, some of those ones that you find on Amazon or if you find some on Timu, you know, for the cheap, I would be very, um, what's the word? Uh, skeptical. I would be very skeptical of buying um, fragrance oils that are very cheap because nine times out of 10, they're either low quality or the whoever's selling them diluted it so they can make a profit and um you don't want to lose that you know that is what your candle is it's the fragrance so you know um look look up do your research on some reputable uh suppliers to ins that ensures that you have a long lasting and robust scent if you need some of those reputable suppliers that I use for my candle scents, then comment the word scent down below and I'll send that to you. <laughs> Number four, allow the proper cure time. Do not, and I repeat, do not light the candle before it has fully cured because it can lead to you losing your scent. You know, what you worked hard for, it could go away just that instantly. Allow your candles to cure for at least a few days. Um, and, or, you know, whatever's recommended by the fragrance oil supplier, like whatever they recommend. But me, I, I wait a week before I light a candle because um, I, I get the best scent, like the best throw from it, the best scent from it, everything. Reason number five, use the wick size and type appropriately. So when you use the incorrect wick size or even the type of wick can cause incomplete combustion, um, leading to insufficient heat for your scent throat. Meaning, say that you got a really big candle that you made, but you used a very tiny um, wick which probably had some kind of wax on it or something, it can cause your candle to not light correctly. So to ensure that you're using the right wig size and type for your candle, it's going to require you to experiment with some different wigs to find the one that provides the optimum heat for any effective scent throw. Happy experimenting with that one. <laughs> Number six, Seal the candle jars tightly. I have made candles in the past that did not have tops on my jars. And so did I lose scent over time? Possibly. So you don't want that to happen. You know, um, inadequate sealing of the candle jars can result in you losing the fragrance. It can evaporate. 
and you can smell nothing. <laughs> Ensure that your candle jars are tightly sealed when you're not using them, okay? Um, you might wanna consider using an airtight container or you can even wrap your candles in plastic or saran wrap to preserve the fragrance. You gotta get creative. When, you, <laughs> when you're starting out in this business, you gotta get creative. If you cannot afford those jars to go on your candles, like I could not have in my um, my first years of starting my business, I could not afford the jars, the tops. I can only afford the containers. So I was wrapping them in plastic <laughs> to ensure that I keep the scent in, okay? Reason number seven. Reason number seven, avoiding exposure to sunlight. So sunlight and heat can accelerate the breakdown of your fragrance oil. You wanna store your finished candles in a cool or dark place away from direct sunlight to preserve it. When you make your candles, don't go and sit them by the window and open the blinds. Don't do that, don't. Even when you're out selling your candles, you want to, um, try to avoid direct sunlight and i did my first couple of events at a um i was like at a like a trader's village type deal trader joe's type uh thing like a uh, farmer's market that's what it's called i was at a farmer's market and um i did not have a tent to cover myself or anything so i was looking around everybody had tents and i didn't have one so my candles were in direct sunlight now the pro to that is um when the customers walked by they smelt the candles so they stopped and bought them that was a pro but the con is again you could lose you know scent fragrance scent from them sitting out in the sun all day you don't want that before I go on to the next reason, if you want to learn more about stirring and mixing thoroughly, then make sure you click the link in my description box and comment section below because I have a free guide for you that will dive deeper on how to master the art of candle making. This guide will walk you through a step-by-step -step process of crafting your own beautiful soy wax candle. Again, make sure you click the link in the description below and comment section below. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to the next reason why your candle scent might be fading over time. Reason number eight, store fragrance oils properly. Improper storage of fragrance oils can lead to datagration. Um, keeping the fragrance oils in a cool, dark place from extreme temperatures and sunlight can help keep those together. Like seal the bottles tightly, prevent air exposure. The last thing you want to do is accidentally spill your bottle of fragrance oil that you just spent $40 on and the bottles are like that big, okay? Number nine, selecting stable fragrance notes. And what that mean is some of the fragrance notes are more prone to fading over time. So uh, you wanna choose some that are very stable and some um, great reputable suppliers will let you know that on their website if the fragrance oil is stable or not. So you wanna read and check for that too because if it's a non-stable fragrance oil, that means it's not gonna do too well with um, staying a uh, staying at that, that, that scent, that strong scent for a long period of time. And also um, some that are safe for making other products with can also be unstable in those products. So you wanna like make sure, you wanna check that out. So some that are very um, stable that I know of, that I use are the wood and the spices. Uh, they tend to last better and they have longevity um i sell more of the wood ones as men candles and they love them um compared to like the citrus and the floral those i have learned to that they tend to sell less especially in a season where citrus and floral is is not it i sell my citrus and floral candles in the springtime but that's the only time that those sell like summer fall and winter, no one wants a citrus or a floral candle, okay? But a wood or a spice candle, those typically run 
through fall, winter, spring, some, well, summer, summer too. So they tend to go all through the years. And here's the last reason. Regularly rotating your candle stocks. So um, candles that are sitting for extended periods of time may experience scent fading over time. Um, if you don't get a chance to sell those candles that you want to sell, you know, those kind of tend to like sit there for a long, long, long time. So, um, you kind of want to rotate your candle stock regularly using like the older candles first when you're making candles and ensures, ensuring a continuous turnover to maintain fragrance freshness. So you want to make sure you sell those candles, okay? You don't want them piling up for years and years and years, you know? That's typically why, um, for uh, for instance, Yankee, Yankee, Yankee Candle, is that what they call? Oh, and Bath Body, Bath and Body Works, is that, yeah. They tend to have those sales on those candles because those candles has probably been sitting all year. And they're like, okay, we got to get rid of these. We got to get them out of here. It's the end of the year. Now that you've learned the reasons why your candle scent might be fading, but you may not know how to achieve the ultimate fragrance intensity. If that's you, watch this video where I talk all about how to make a very strong scented candle. See you in the next video.